Hi, I'm Josina Garnum, and I'm a training and organizational development consultant with POD, and I'd like to share with you my leadership adventure story. I first came to study leadership as an undergraduate at the University of New Hampshire. I studied experiential learning and outdoor education. While I learned about educational theory, I also took skills classes, such as backpacking and map and orienteering. In my map and O class, we were tasked with learning how to use a topographical map and compass to navigate through an extensively forested park. My class partner, Sarah, and I navigated our way deep into the property. Surely seeing geographical features, hills and trails that we thought we were seeing accurately on the map. A few hours into our expedition, we realized we were hopelessly lost. We wandered haphazardly until by sure luck we came to an opening in the forest and a power line trail. We followed this and happened upon the rest of our group. We were rescued at last. I liken the situation to leadership and the journey for new managers and leaders, myself included. Fast forward about seven years from my adventure being lost in the woods to a role I took as the president of the board of a small nonprofit called On Belay. This organization provides intentional adventure-based experiences for kids whose lives have been affected by a loved one's diagnosis with cancer. I was charged with leading of people who, who were far more senior than me, including members of the founder's family, business leaders, faculty, and other community leaders. I was young and developing my skills, which is in part why I took the role. I was certainly leading without a map. I was guided only by my internal compass and the values of the organization. I knew I was skilled at building relationships and following through on my commitments and that this organization was doing really important work in the world and I wanted to be sure we could continue providing a sense of community and adventure and playfulness for kids that really needed it. Our mission, vision, and values helped to guide us through the early years of the program. And when I knew it was time for me to step down from my role, I felt I had done the best work I could do as a leader to steward this early stage nonprofit. I learned that leadership is always an adventure and not without its share of risks. The beautiful thing is that once we take a risk, we expand our capacities to lead in the future. I'm pleased to say that Ambele is now stronger than ever and continues to provide exemplary programming for kids and their families who need a sense of community and some fun, playful adventures. I'm grateful to have had a chance to practice leading without a clear map.